as we all know, the ULEA declared independence. Um, we've, uh, the Council of Elders um, and the Executive Council of State have been formed. Um, what we have now is the correspondence has been sent to the Queen, um, advising her of the uh, de Declaration of Independence. A copy of the Declaration of Independence has been forwarded to her. Um, we've also forwarded the uh, copies of that all that correspondence to uh, the Attorney General, uh, sorry, to the Governor General of Australia. The copies of the letter to the Queen. We sent them to um, the Queensland New South Wales Governor and the Queensland Governor, advising of our position. What we our next step will be to uh, now finalise the map, which we've been negotiating. I've been talking with all the different elders of different um, family groups of where the extent of the boundary, true boundary is of the Ualeo Nation. Um, and I've been quite surprised actually to some degree because it's, it's getting it right, because if we're gonna build a nation, we've gotta get it right. Um, and I've done that now and we've finalised the boundary. So we're in the process now of finalising the boundary, which we will then forward off to the uh, Queen and advise her of the exact location, the, the you know, the, uh, longitude and latitude of, the, of our state um, so that that's very clearly defined. That will also be forwarded then to uh, uh, copies of that will be forwarded to the governors and the and the Governor General of Australia after we forward that to England. Our next step now is to forward correspondence to the British um, Parliament in, uh, and to the Foreign Office uh, advising them of our position. Um, we will also I expect it may be the Queen has forwarded information on to the uh, to the British Parliament uh, and the British Foreign Office, but I am not going to assume that that's been done. We will we will uh, take steps now.